Sunday on 7 News at 11. A new baby on the way. Then a devastating discovery. I refused to do what they told me to do. They gamble on a doctor and a dangerous procedure to save their child. Sunday on 7 News at 11. Losing a child is an unbearable thought for any parent, and for those who have gone through it, the pain never goes away. Faced with losing their baby, the Britton family from Akron had to make a difficult choice turning to a doctor and a controversial medical procedure that could have killed the mother, all to save their son. Here's 7 News reporter John Borsa. There you go. Heather and David Britton of Akron had always wanted to give their only child, 10-year-old son Alex, a younger sibling. Two years ago seemed like the right time. We started getting old. <laughs> it was Dave's 36th birthday, and we said, mm, if we're going to do it, we better do it soon. The welcome news came just a few months later. Heather was pregnant. We were just absolutely thrilled to go ahead and move forward with this. So it was, it was uh, quite exciting. But that excitement quickly faded when the Britons learned that their unborn child was in a life or death struggle. Heather's doctor delivered the devastating news. And she says he's got fluid in his abdomen and his heart is enlarged to twice its size. He's got what's called uh, non-immune fetal high drops, which is fatal. Doctors predicted that Heather would deliver within days and the baby would be stillborn. A few weeks later, and Trey Frederick Britton was born, 11 weeks premature. He was expected to live for only a few days. For the first two days, um, the cardiologist just kept telling us that he wasn't going to make and his heart wasn't getting any better. But after six weeks, Trey was beating everyone's expectations. His tiny heart looked as if it was growing stronger. Then suddenly, Heather and David got an urgent call from the hospital. He just was slipping. His, his little body had had enough. Things were, were going wrong that hadn't gone wrong before. And so we took him back to the family room and we just rocked him until they declared him dead around 2 o'clock. <laughs> Convinced that their short time with Trey was a blessing, the couple moved forward. And two months later, Heather was pregnant again. But 20 weeks into her new pregnancy, a doctor delivered the painful news. She just kind of shakes her head and says there's no fluid. There was no fluid around the baby and told me my <laughs> options. <laughs> because there was no amniotic fluid protecting the fetus inside the womb, the baby would never develop normal lungs. Heather was given two choices. Since it was too soon to deliver the baby, she could force delivery and have a miscarriage, or she could have an abortion. Could you end this and live the rest of your life not knowing what might have happened? And I said no, so I refused. I refused to do what they told me to do. I had just lost a, a, a child. I wasn't going to do it again. Remembering those precious weeks they had with Trey before he died and desperate to find a way to save their new baby's life, the Britons reached out to Dr. Laurel White, who had a possible solution, but it would put both baby and mother at great risk. I was most worried that uh, there would be a negative outcome for Heather, that she would get infected, um, that she might lose her uterus, that she might die. Every other day over several weeks, Dr. White restored the amniotic fluid, a controversial procedure that most doctors refuse to perform because the risk of infection and death is too high. Dr. White had only performed the procedure once before, successfully, and she thought Heather was a good candidate. Under ultrasound guidance, watching where the needle was going, I put the needle in and, and just pushed a little bit of saline, of salt water, into the space to sort of make a space. It was a gamble, but Dr. White restored the fluid around the fetus. But there still was a possibility that its lungs would not develop normally. The damage may have already been done. There'd be no way to know until the day Heather gave birth. When he came out, or just as he was about to come out. I was just delirious with anticipation, fear, um, just scared out of my mind and excited all at the same time. Chase Frederick Britton was born on August 24th, 2007. Today, he is a healthy and happy five-month-old baby. God thought he should be here. It wasn't our decision to decide whether or not he should be here. That wasn't our decision to make. It was somebody else's decision. We just went along for the ride. Exactly. We just did what we had to do. I think there's no escaping the fact, though, that what we went through and how it went with Trey and experiencing 
the joy that we had with him, even if it was just for six weeks and a couple days. Um, we knew that that's what we as a family wanted to do all over again. And I almost say no matter the price. Well, doctors say baby Chase will likely grow up to be a healthy and normal child. As for the procedure that gave the infant a chance at life, doctors say because of the danger involved and the risk to the mother, it is not a solution for everyone facing the same medical obstacles as the Britton family.